Being in your magnetic feminine energy naturally attracts masculine energy. But today we're talking about four specific traits that healthy masculine men love and find incredibly attractive. Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jills and I help women step into their power, tap into their divine feminine and become their best selves. So if that's something you wanna do, you should consider subscribing and sticking around. Now I wanna just dive right on into it today, but I first have to mention today's sponsor, which I am so, so excited about, Dime Beauty. Dime Beauty offers luxury skincare, beauty and wellness products at affordable prices, but the best part about them is that they use clean ingredients. You guys know I am a holistic girly, or at least I try to be, clean beauty is very important to me and Dime Beauty is vegan, cruelty-free, and doesn't use any harsh chemicals. But also their products are super luxurious. They use eco-friendly glass packaging and I'm so excited to share my recent favorites with you guys and they will be linked down below by the way in the description box because I am obsessed with their perfumes. Finding a good non-toxic perfume is not easy, let me tell you. And I've been asked about this so many times and I've never really had a good answer for you guys until now. I love their perfume. I have three different scents. Absolutely love them all. My husband loves them all. They smell so wonderful and last all day. And I've even gotten compliments out in public wearing it. Now, if I had to pick an absolute favorite, it would probably be this one. I think you say it dans les bois, and they describe it as feminine, bold, and intoxicating, and that's just the perfect way to put it. And then the Seven Summers perfume is so good too. It's really, really popular. It's a little bit like of a warmer, creamier scent with a touch of vanilla lavender, so it's a little bit sweeter. But this reminds me more of like that summer, daytime, sunny day kind of vibe, whereas this one, the dans les bois one, reminds me more of like date night. And then the last one, which I also love, is called I Love Your Smell Baby, and it has more of like a floral scent to it. It's just also very amazing. I could not recommend them enough. I'm also a big fan of their body care products specifically their boosting body serum and the glaze which is like an oil so the boosting body serum gives nutrients to your skin and it dries really really quickly and then the glaze is just like a really amazing oil to hydrate the skin and it just makes your skin look way better too especially now that it's getting warmer and we can wear our shorts and our dresses again now i do have a discount code for you guys you can use my code jills20 to get 20 percent off your order so i highly highly recommend you check them out i really really love this beauty brand i'll have a link in the description box and that link will automatically apply that discount. Thank you Dime Beauty for supporting this community and now let's get back into the video. So the first feminine quality that is so important, this is the most simple and basic one, so starting with this one first, is actually taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, taking care of the way you look and prioritizing things that make you feel good, you know, like self-care and all that. Masculine men are drawn to women who take care of themselves. If you just have greasy hair all the time and you just like don't really smell very good and your skin is not nourished, and I'm not just talking about like one occasional greasy hair day, I mean like that is how you consistently show up in the world. You are not presenting yourself in your best light and honestly, it's unattractive. Not just because of the way it makes you look, but the energy and messages it sends. Now, obviously, yes, there's no denying that looks do play a role in attracting a romantic partner. We all know this. If you take care of yourself and your beauty and you look better and you look more presentable, you will likely come off as more attractive. I think we all know that. That's nothing new. And that's not really what I'm talking about with this point here. It goes much deeper than that. I'm not just talking about like putting on a full face of makeup or giving yourself the most amazing blowout every single morning. I'm talking about actually taking care of yourself, good hygiene, good self-care physically and mentally, feeding yourself well, and just giving yourself the love and care you deserve, being proud of how you present yourself, showing yourself that you are worthy. How you see yourself and how you treat yourself is oftentimes how other people see you and treat you as well. That's how they learn. So if you show yourself respect, if you show that you value yourself, that you care about yourself, that you love yourself, that you respect yourself, that you are deserving and that you are worthy, that you value your health and your happiness, he will be more likely to see that too and treat you in that same way too. And you will be looked at as more of a prize. Now the energy in which you do this though is so important. If you're choosing to take care of yourself because you love yourself, because you respect yourself, because it's fun to make yourself feel beautiful, that is attractive. If you're constantly getting all of these expensive beauty treatments and you don't feel comfortable leaving the house unless you spent two to three hours getting ready and you just take this to an extreme, not because you love yourself, but because you hate yourself and because you don't think you're worthy, that does the opposite. 
it gives off desperate energy. Take care of yourself and look your best because you love yourself and because you think it's fun, not because you're trying to get a man to be attracted to you. Now, again, this does not mean that you have to wear all this makeup and lipstick and all that. That's totally up to you. For example, I have this friend and she is incredibly feminine. She just naturally radiates this strong feminine energy. It is magnetic and she never wears a drop of makeup. She never does her hair. She always lets it air dry, but she takes care of herself. She loves to put on an outfit that makes her happy. She loves to nurture herself and feed herself good food and move her body and take care of her skin and journal. And this sort of self-love radiates from her. Feminine energy is an energy. It's not a look. And it's the energy of love, care, and softness with the self that's incredibly captivating to the masculine man. The second feminine quality men love is lightheartedness. The ability to slow down and enjoy things and have a positive outlook look on life and can be a little playful sometimes instead of always being so serious. This is a very attractive quality for the masculine specifically because it tends to bring the energy of what the masculine tends to lack in their life. The masculine energy as an energy is more about getting things done rules and structure, discipline and routine and logic and being more in the mind rather than the heart. And so this lighthearted, playful, positive energy is like a breath of fresh air that comes into their life. It makes you magnetic to the masculine. It is captivating to the masculine and it brings energy to the masculine, like physical energy. Because here's how masculine feminine energy works. When a man is around healthy, vibrant feminine energy or just sees healthy, vibrant feminine energy, it gives him energy. It gives him vitality. So when you can bring that liveliness, that depth, that presence, that positive energy to his life, it will not go unnoticed. And like I said, it's magnetic. That's why like, you know how there's that stereotypical story of like a man telling a woman she should smile more. Obviously that's like super annoying and a dumb thing to say. But the reason behind that is because they love to see a lighthearted, positive woman. I'm not saying that that comment is reasonable or anything. I'm just saying that that's where that comes from. It is a deep desire that they have and so many women have hardened themselves over the years whether it's from you know difficult experiences that they went through in life or because they've just chosen to prioritize success and achievements and nothing else and so this light-hearted playful loving positive part of ourselves it's been let go it's been forgotten it hasn't been nurtured but even just taking away the whole attraction component of this right like take, take the men out of this equation this hardened energy is not a good energy to live in all the time it's heavy and it's draining and it zaps the joy out of life. We are not here to just be robots and check off our to-dos. We're here to live, to enjoy, to experience, to feel. And so many women have forgotten the beauty of this. It's okay to let go. It's okay to be playful. It's okay to be happy and enjoy life even when you're not where you want to be yet. But anyway, getting back to attraction, here is the really important part though. Combining this lighthearted, playful, positive energy with maturity. That is the sweet spot. That is it. For a healthy, mature, masculine man, that is incredibly attractive. Okay, so moving on to the next feminine quality, I think this is probably the most important one, or at least it's up there, especially in the beginning stages of dating. And the best way I can put it is not forcing. A magnetic feminine woman does not force things. She does not force a relationship to happen. She does not force certain life situations to occur. She doesn't force anything. She doesn't have desperate energy. A magnetic feminine woman has the ability to stay in a state of allowing and trust and surrender and knows that things are gonna work out for her. She doesn't have to force things. And quite frankly, it can be a really off-putting energy. Like in a relationship or in dating, when a woman just pushes and pushes and tries to force a relationship to happen, it tends to do the opposite. It's usually repetitive it's clingy and it'll push him away and you're taking away his ability to pursue and for him to feel that real attraction to you it needs to be coming from him it needs to be his idea he needs to pursue you and that attraction builds when he is given a chance to do this now will every single man be interested in you and want to pursue you no 
Of course not. And that is not a dog to you as a woman. That's just how attraction works. But if you get the hint that there's someone who's slightly interested in you and then you just push and push and push and push, what you're doing is pushing them away. You're not pulling them closer to you. You're not magnetizing them to you. You can show them that yes, you are interested in them, but go on and live your best life and let him do his thing. You are not there to convince him of anything. And once you start pushing and once you start forcing and you start having desperate energy, it makes you come off as less valuable and less appealing. Like always calling him, always texting him, always trying to push and push the relationship further along, giving him all of these benefits to you right away. That's not how attraction works, especially for men. Masculine men love to pursue. Now, not every man has a masculine core and that is totally okay, but a healthy, masculine man loves to pursue. Now, side note, it doesn't mean that they like it when you play games that is immature and that'll attract an immature man. But the point of all this is that they are attracted to a woman who does not force things, who does not push. The intensity is off-putting and they are attracted to a woman that has a certain mindset and a certain outlook on life. The mindset of like, I am comfortable and confident in who I am. I can lean back and relax because I know that what's meant for me will come to me. I don't have to chase or force things. I can attract. I don't need to rush. I don't need to hurry. And the mindset of like, yes, I might want a relationship, but I am also a whole, complete, happy woman as I am. And again, this really goes with the whole lighthearted energy I was talking about. You know, a lot of times I've heard this said so many times, I've seen this myself, maybe you've experienced this yourself, where a woman will say that the minute she decided to stop looking for a partner, that's when he showed up in her life. And that's because our energy shifts. We turn our attention to something else. We turn our attention away from lack and we show up in the world differently because we are no longer desperate or fighting for something that we don't have. Again, it's this acceptance, this relaxed nature, this trust that draws people in and allows us to start attracting who and what we want instead of fighting for it all the time. It is the ability to have healthy detachment and surrender, not because you don't care about those things anymore, but because you're focused on yourself and you're focused on loving yourself and all of the amazing things in your life. Now, the next important feminine quality is being able to invoke his hero instinct and subsequently being able to receive as well. So this is also another really big one. So first let's back it up a little bit. In romantic relationships, the reality is, is that when we are with someone, we want to feel good with them, right? We wouldn't be attracted to someone or want to spend time with someone when every time we're around them, we feel worse as a human being. But men and women tend to get this feel good feeling from different things. A woman tends to get this good feeling when she feels cherished and loved and cared for and pursued and protected. And that will usually make her feel more attracted to him. Whereas men get this good feeling from the hero instinct. So the hero instinct is this theory that every man has a desire to be a hero. And it's basically this desire to protect and feel needed and to add value to other people's lives and improve other people's lives or solve someone's problems, you know, whatever. But it makes him feel good. But so many women have been taught that we need to be super independent and not accept a man's help. Or maybe we feel like we need to prove ourselves, prove our ability to do things and be successful. And there's been the rise of the independent boss babe and there's nothing wrong with that. But once you start taking that exact same energy to romantic relationships, it's not going to yield you the same success. If you're looking for a masculine partner, that is. So this often comes down to the little things, especially in the beginning, you know, being appreciative of him opening the door for you, letting him solve a problem for you and you just being able to receive that and be grateful for that. Or even asking that like cute guy at the coffee shop if he can watch your stuff for you while you go and order another coffee and thank him for that. It's about letting him fulfill that role, whether it's the big things or the little things. Because not only does it feel good to you, it also makes him feel good about himself. And then it'll also make him feel more attracted to you because you are the one that is enabling him to feel that way. So let me give you an example of like two extremes you might have noticed this yourself or seen this with maybe like some of your friends or something, but let's say it's just like an extreme example. Let's say that there is one man at one masculine energy man, and he can only pick between one of two women. For some reason, that is the case, right? The first woman is a damsel in distress, right? The second woman is hyper independent, has her walls up suppresses her emotions, you know, all that. Both of these women are wounded in their own ways. 
but which one is this man going to pick? Eight times, nine times out of 10, it's likely gonna be the damsel in distress because he can at least add value to her life. He can help her. He can feel like he's being that hero. Whereas with the other girl whose walls are up all the time, he can't get in there. She doesn't let him. And over time, that's gonna make him feel worse about himself. He's gonna feel like less and less of a man. Definitely not saying that you should be a damsel in distress. I'm just trying to use this as an extreme example and just point out that men love to add value. They love to save the day sometimes. That makes them feel good, whether it's little things or big things. And you do not need to be a damsel in distress to make that happen. So the point is that when you can allow this part of him to come through and not close it off or shut it down and allow yourself to receive in this way, it can increase his attraction to you. And again, in day-to-day -day life, this often shows up in little ways, right? You're planning to go for a morning walk together and he shows up with a coffee for you, or you ask his advice or opinion on something, or him opening a tight jar for you. Now, there is an important caveat to this. Like with anything in life, the energy in which you do things matters, right? You could do the same exact thing, but with totally different energy and they will yield different results. And that is why this is so important. And I think this is where a lot of women will make a mistake. They'll want to be the feminine energy in the relationship. They'll want to receive. They want to feel pursued and protected by him. They want him to be her hero. They want to be treated like a princess. They want him to add value to her life. But in doing so, they do it with the energy of demanding it rather than receiving it. Once you start demanding and you start to have that sort of attitude, it does the opposite. It's no longer attractive. And there is a difference between just having high standards for yourself and expecting a man to treat you well and respect you and leaning back and or walking away when he's not versus demanding it. And you can communicate your desires without being demanding. Ultimately, this needs to be his choice. And when you start demanding it, you take away that choice and he will be less interested in you because you won't make him feel as good about himself. Once you start telling him what he needs to do and acting in a way that makes him feel like he has to do something, that attraction starts to fade because he's no longer initiating it. It's no longer his choice. And that dynamic starts to change. It starts to shift. And this kind of goes back to forcing things. Forcing things does not work, especially for the long term. So what I'm trying to say is that there are two different ways to receive. One will pull him closer to you, will magnetize him to you, and one will push him away. One is with love and softness, and one is with intensity. One gives him a desire to step up and the opportunity to add value. The other one takes away his autonomy. There is definitely some nuance to this topic, so I can't explain it all, but I do hope that that made sense. Now, if you want to dive deeper into this topic and relationships, definitely go check out my video, How to Attract a High Quality Masculine Man for a Last relationship, there are a lot of really good tidbits of information in there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I always appreciate them. Always like to read them. Give this video a like if you liked it, and I will see you over in this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.